Hey everyone, we are back with Neoform. Um, pretty excited to play this deck. This deck's actually like beaten me a bunch of times because I've been I've been playtesting uh, Genie Toronto Bunch or Great Toronto Bunch, and uh, this deck has definitely stolen my five O's like three times now. So it's kind of irritating. So obviously we got to play to see what people are uh, killing us with. Um, I took this list from Pleasant Kenobi. He's a uh, I watch him a lot. He produces a lot of great content, so I wanted to try out his version. Um, I actually haven't seen his video because I haven't had time to, but I trust uh, his version's good. A couple things I noticed right away that are different is he's using the Seismic Assault um, instead of Lightning Storm, and so we'll see how that plays out. Um, having it as an enchantment coming to play and then uh, having to discard it, it's technically one less damage, right? Because I mean, three less damage because you have you don't get to start off with that three. Um, and it also doesn't let us go off at instant speed, right? <clears throat> so we'll see how that plays out. Um, the rest of the list, from my understanding, is pretty stock. And then, oh, and if anyone doesn't know what this combo does, we are just basically trying to cheat out an Allosaurus. So we can exile two green cards in our hand rather than pay its costs, right? And then we get this big old 7-7. Seven, seven, um, and then it's power and toughness equal to 1 plus the number of lands that we control. Um, but then we don't really care about that. It's just a creature, and most importantly, it's a 7-drop. What we care about is right over here with Neoform, we get to uh, sacrifice it and go get a creature card with 1 CMC higher. We get that pot effect going on. And it just so happens that uh, Gristlebrand's an 8-drop. So we just uh, pod this away. Go get ourselves a gristle brand, and then we draw our entire deck. We we use nourish and show gain more life off the Allosaurus and the Chancellors or, or, or the Worm here, and then we draw more cards, and and then at the end there we have like our entire deck in hand, and then we just seismic assault them. Or if we have enough cards gone, we just play Lab Maniac and then draw the rest of our deck, which I've lost to twice, and I've lost to this Lightning Storm a bunch. Uh, over in the sideboard, we've got three paths, four ley lines, four packs, four Nature's Claim. Um, big fan of the ley lines, the packs, and the nature claim because people will try to stop us. Paths, I'm not as excited about just because I don't. I'm not sure if we really care about pathing creatures. I think we just want to try to go off. So I'm not sure how that one will play out. But I am quite excited to play this deck. Let's get it going. I'm gonna play a friendly league because I'm not as used to this deck. So we're gonna give this a uh, a whirl. Oh, give me two seconds. I'm gonna load this up on Stream Decker for anyone that is watching. And they want to take a look at our list. All right, that is now live on Stream Decker. And let's go ahead and jump into this. <clears throat> and if you're asking why I'm in the dress shirt, tie, vest, jacket somewhere else i uh just got home from work i haven't had a chance to get changed wanted to eat some food real quick come on over here and figure out what was going on okay so we can go land we're on the draw so we go land Can't make the necessary green blue mana. We need another mana source to neoform. <clears throat> we get one draw, and we'd be going off turn two. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I, I think this is good enough to keep. We need to just hit any little land in our deck and we'll go off. Or if we hit a Cantor turn one, we can go off turn two. Or if we hit a Manamorphos. Yeah, there's enough hits for us. Let's keep this. Oh, that that uh, the disruption control will definitely get us. If we do see it, I'm blaming you. Alright, there's the Manamorphos, so that's sweet. Now... Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so 
land simian generate the mana mana morphos into blue green um we play allosaurus we get rid of the pact and the shoal and we go get the other gristle brand in the deck all righty seems good to me and we're gonna make a blue and a green Just to thin our deck a little bit. <clears throat> That's funny. Opponent's conceding, and uh, I don't actually know if we win because we were supposed to, we needed to hit a <laughs> we needed to hit a, uh, a nourishing troll, and we already got rid of one. So <laughs> that's very funny. Um, so we saw red, green, and we saw a relic. Not that much to work off of. Um, I think we're just gonna run it back. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alrighty. We've got four mana, five mana on turn one, but we have no pack, no allosaurus. So we can't keep this. It's not, uh, we have nothing to bring into play that's relevant. So let's go ahead and mulligan. Oh, the other thing is this deck is a lot stronger with the London mulligan, which we no longer have access to. Hmm. If we hit a mana, we can win. Keep it. Bottom. This ain't suspect, I know. Land. Oh man. That's not a land, folks. <laughs> uh, this might be bad. That's a damping sphere, folks. We're gonna we're gonna continue to keep passing here. So this should be shift. I was guessing it was shift, but uh, I'm pretty sure that confirms it, right? Mm -mm. Trying to cast another ramp spell into their own damping sphere. Okay, we still don't have a land. This is going very well. Very well. Um, I think we'll ditch the Eldritch. I want to keep the Nourishing Troll Chancellor in case we need to gain a bunch of life. So, we would really enjoy a land deck. Thank you. That's so kind of you. That's another land. Now we have all the lands. Okay, we don't need all this. We just, we just needed a few. We're good. Oh. That is, that's 
really rude. Hmm. Well, if they scape shift us, we can nourish and control in response at the very least, right? Okay, they're gonna acid moss us again. That's that's just like really rude. And now we don't hit lands. Mm -mm -mm. Opponent is the rudest. Sure. So they didn't float any mana before they did this. So let's see how they stack this to see if we can stay alive. Not that staying alive is going to be that great for us. Because even if we do live, I feel like packing just for the worm just so we can say that we survived escape shift and did it that way so if the chancellor won't save us which it doesn't look like it will right three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen oh actually it will right three six nine 18, 21, 24. Okay. Okay. What's up, sweetie poo? Thanks for joining me. Oh, they're gonna play a land and we're gonna we're gonna die. I'm guessing they're kicking themselves for not casting a ramp spell. Luckily for them, we're still dead. <laughs> okay, okay. We see what they're doing now. Let's bring in the ley lines. I'm gonna get rid of the noxious. And we're also going to get rid of the Desperate and a Serum. I really don't like trimming the combo pieces here. They're going to be pretty important. Um, I went 3-1 on Monday with um, Hardened Scales Affinity. So that was pretty fun. Okay, this hand's got Leyline, but it's not doing anything else. So we're going to have to mow this. This hand's gonna generate one mana. Cast the Saurus, cannot cast the Neoform. Gonna have to ship this one as well. This hand's just incredibly awkward, but we do have a Ley Line. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. We're gonna have to mold this as well. I guess this is fine. That's really awkward that that's on top of our deck. So if this was the Linden Mulligan, we could have had that in our hand. So tragic. We'll keep that on the bottom. Land go. Nice, 2-2. Two, two. What did you end up uh, playing against that you won and lost to? Chancellor's a little awkward. We're going to pass that back. We just need to generate two more mana or a mana in the Neil form here, and then we'll be able to combo off. Land's good. 
Pass it back. We really need them not to acid moss us. If they acid moss us, we're going to cry a little bit. I feel like any time anyone beats Tron, they always feel pretty good. And same with Dredge. Like... Okay. think we're good. Well, Allosaurus exiled the Eldritch and the other Allosaurus. And that way we can keep it a 7 drop in hand. Not that relevant, but we need to gain life from it. We need to form into Gristlebrand. Seven. Okay, no uh no nourishing shoal. Really need to hit one off this. Okay, okay. Deck's doing good things. Still no nourishing shoal. Um Okay, we can uh Banner Confluence and Serum Visions. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what we're doing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> um okay okay I guess we can just run out another creature yeah I think we just drop another rider here and we'll exile because the other crystal brands already in our um, in our hand here We'll exile the Neoform and the Eldritch. And that's gonna be it. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of the serums. Gristlebrand. We wanna keep the lands, because we we do wanna shoot them. Mm -mm -mm. But we'll we'll get rid of one Chancellor. Alright. Let's see if they have lethal on us. Okay, cool. They conceded. I really thought we were dead. <laughs> they only needed uh, to either play a land and then ramp or play a titan. Like, they had a lot of ways to just kill us. So, did not expect to win there. Wow. <laughs> I feel like both times our opponent conceded too early, but who knows? Who knows? Hmm, generate three mana, drop a Chancellor, no Neoforms or Eldritch, we cannot keep this. Also cannot keep this. Um, hmm. Okay, so we can. I'm not even sure. Like, I'm trying to think of the line where this hand goes off, and this this hand struggles to go off quite a bit. 
We're on the draw. We get a mana. I think we're going to... I think we're going to keep this one. Eldritch we'll put on the bottom. We'll generate the mana. Thank you. Yeah, I uh, had to do stuff for work today where I dressed up a little bit more um, than normal. Our, our company is like business casual, but every once in a while, got to dress up a little bit more. And I just got home at like 5.30, scarfed down some food, and then I wanted to get ready for the stream. So I didn't want, really want to waste time like getting changed. So I'll, uh, I'll just do that after the stream. So. Looks like we're against Affinity. It becomes my shtick, dressing up fancy. I think the uh, the professor's already got that on lock, right? Another Chancellor we're going to put to the bottom, the land we'll put to the top. But I do tend to dress nice when I'm not trying to be a bum, so definitely could make that a thing. I just ordered like... Um, wanted to swing there. Maybe not. We'll just pass this over. So we really just need an Allosaurus now. And then we can go off. So that's all we're looking for at this point. Allosaurus will exile the Eldritch and the Chancellor, Neil format, and then start trying to go off. Cranial, okay. Manamorphose. I don't really want to cast that. Gemstones at two counters right now, so I'm just going to pass. They're not... They only have uh, like limited access, and I think it looks like it's going to be a two-turn kill um, with Ink Moth, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes... Oh, wait, that is exactly lethal. Okay. Because of the signal pest. All right, I want to bring in the nature's claims. So we'll take out the ritual. The noxious. And one zero. Yeah, I've been told this deck has been uh, doing really, really well. And like I said, I've gotten beat by it quite a few times as well um, when I'm doing the comp leagues. Um, I definitely think if this is a deck that comes from London Mulligan because you want to have very key pieces in your hand and being able to see more of it is crucial. see with this hand we can go turn one cantor pass turn two land no we don't even need that okay so Turn one, I think we just play land go. And then turn two, we packed for the Allosaurus, run it out, kneel form it, and then try to go off. So 
I think this is a keeper. Yeah, technically you... Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's interesting because like they have the the data from the the event, the big event, kind of shows that. Oh, that's really sweet. We got a card that we really wanted to. So let's go land pact. Allosaurus cast it by exiling. We'll ditch the Eldritch and the Cantor. Neoform that, get a gristle. Um, they, I think they showed like the, the, it was actually like a positive effect, right? Like some of these decks popped up and that's fine. These decks they'll just get adapted to. Like this deck's pretty susceptible to like a, a variety of different things. So like it's okay. So it, it really just needs uh, people time, uh, time for people to adapt to it. And I think they'll be just fine. Chancellor, draw, did we, did we miss again? <laughs> Okay, we have to keep the um, the Simeon Spirit Guides in hand because we have to pay for Pact. Okay. But I still think we can just beat them with a Gristle Brand in hand. So that's absolutely fine. So let's drop the Allosaurus. And we'll exile one Eldritch. And a Neoform. Um, and then we'll want to cast this one as well. And let's just pitch the... I want to keep one Chancellor in hand, I suppose. So we'll go Metamorphose and a Chancellor. Okay, I want to keep the Spirit Guides. We should keep the Nature's Claims. We'll keep one land and the Chancellor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll pitch the rest of this. Okay. Should we keep one more Neo form to go get... No, Grigor Soul Brand's a legendary. Yeah, we'll just keep it like this. This will be fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna kill them with a bunch of dinos and three threes. This is this is perfectly reasonable. We don't need to combo out. Exactly. Look at this. Like, we combo out by having a Gristle Brand in play. We don't need to kill them on the spot.
We did it, folks. They're gonna Galve Blast the Ornithopter so we don't gain life? How rude! Yeah, it makes sense. Having a payoff like that, and Worm Coil is just so good right now. It's fine. It's fine. So if we nature's claim it, we still win, All right? They're doing 18, they're gonna go to 16. Why do you wanna play the one of uh, rekindling thing, uh, Phoenix? And what are you thinking about taking out in place of it? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Turn one, Botanical Cantor. No, no, wait. Yeah, turn one, Botanical no, send me a spirit guide for Cantor. Play Botanical. Pact for Allosaurus. Discard the Disruption Shoal and the Metamorphose and then Neoform it. Yeah. We got this. We got this. If we hit another green card, that would be ideal. Um, them not thought seizing us would, it is also ideal. <laughs> Let's see if they know what to take. They took the Neo form. That's kind of fine. We'll see our visions. Bottom, bottom. In place of one of the flame slashes. Now, I'm not always a proponent of taking out removal spells. Um, just because I feel like in a lot of decks, Flame Slash is really good right now. Taking out Thing in the Ice is a big deal. Taking out a lot of like creature-based threats, like that extra point of damage that Flame Slash has is pretty huge. And then you're putting it in for a creature that I don't think too many decks have, um, like Path just takes care of it like normal, but then again, I guess Path will just take care of any creature you're going to play anyway. Um... But it can do a lot of work. So I guess we would want to test it and just see how it does. Four bolts and one flame slash. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad mix of it. All right, they're going to take the pact from us. Kind of a bummer because we just bought them the other one. Where 
right, we're still gonna keep drawing here. Let's see if we can uh, figure out and put this deck together. Um, yeah, I'm good with drawing the Canfluence and then the Nature's Claim. We'll just, we might have to just slow them down and slowly put together the combo here. Yeah, I'm actually taking it out of my um, Valica deck too. I uh, was not as impressed with it, so as I thought I was uh, going to be. I'm just gonna pass it on back. Arc bound. Let's claim the cranial. Yeah, I'm taking out of the Valica list I have. Just I'm just I'm not. Uh, I feel like it, it could be doing more work because uh, I swapped it from the bolt to the slashes to take care of thing in the ice. But I don't think I really care about thing in the ice. Another Volt Scourge. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Do we want to just go Metamorphose into Metamorphose to see what we get? I think we do. I think we're just gonna pass here and hold up claim. Well, I mean, to be fair, if someone played two really strong hate cards against anyone, they should be pretty distraught. <laughs> now yeah dealing with both of those is gonna be pretty rough Okay, we've got all the Simeon Spirit Guides. Um, I guess we can cast one just to block the Memnite. This isn't uh, this isn't where we want to be. Because we're still going to be on a two turn clock here. I guess we can stay alive, but are we really alive <laughs> at this point? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just going to do this because we can say that we did it. <laughs> Uh, 
They're still like dead like next turn. <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> oh, but I can say that um, we Eldritch, uh, we shoaled away this a Eldritch Evolution to stay alive, and then got to pay on the Pierce through with a Simeon Spirit Guide. And that's just that's just how good we are. Mm-mm-mm. It's it's my dream. I just want to be good at magic. <laughs> so I've uh, I had not joined the uh, Discord channel for uh, Tron though. So I've been talking to those guys a little bit, and that's uh, pretty exciting. So I'm gonna see what happens after this. Um, let's see. We generate a bunch of mana, uh, three mana, but we don't have a way to get a creature in play. So. We need to hit Pact. Yeah, let's just mull. So we get the Allosaurus here. But we need to hit some lands. Mm mm mm. Um, I don't go to GPs or Magic Fest as often. I do try to go to pretty much every open that I can get my hands on. And, like, every weekend, if there's an IQ within, like, two to three hours, I'm willing to make that drive. This hand's pretty close. We need to hit, like, two mana sources. But, um, I think we have to mull it. All right, we're going to keep this one. We just need to hit, like, a Neoform, and, we're, and we'll start going off. Um, I, I will go to any GP that's in the area, though. So, like, if there's one nearby, I'll definitely head that way. Um, I went to the Cleveland Open. I'm planning on going to the, um, the Louisville Open uh, coming up. And then I'm going to be going to... Let's bottom both of those. Um... I'm going to the Invitational as well. Um, I should have enough points to do that by next month. So that'll be pretty exciting. We've got all the packs. Looks like we're against Bluetron. Okay, we've literally got all the packs. Yeah, I actually, um, I used to go to like every GP that I could get my hands on. Um, we were, before I took my break and I came back from Magic, we were going to like any GP within like a 13 to 14 hour drive. Um... And that was just a blast. It used to be, like, really affordable to go to a GP. You'd go, you'd get your promo card. The promo card would pay for, like, half of the trip. Um, so that was, like, really sweet. And then, like, I, I used to be a level one judge. And, well, a lot of GPs had um, a judge event, a judge conference at the same time. So you would go learn how to be a better judge. Um, get some great content that way and then you would get these judge promos for attending the the judge conference and then if you presented you also got judge promos so it was like i would go like a day early and i think we're gonna stop playing lands here we actually need lands to go off um and so like i remember doing a gp in chicago where i literally showed up did the conference and then um, did the uh, did the presentation stuff all that and I already had profit from that weekend before we had even done the event and that was including cost of the event the weekend gas all of that so it used to be like really awesome to travel to, to these different things and uh, now it's um, now it's much more expensive 
Um, we're literally just playing lands and doing nothing, so... Yeah, it used to be really worth it to go to GPs. It used to be... Now it's like... It's like a hundred bucks for entry. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. I saw a, um, a Magic Fest qualifier. It was 75 bucks just for entry on that. Are you kidding me? Like, Magic is ex expensive as it is. Like, we gotta dish out, like, what, on the low end for a, a Tier 1 Modern Deck, Tier 2 Modern Deck, like, six to $700? Um, averaging like a grand. Like, this game is terrible for us financially. You know what's terrible for us financially as well? Drawing all the non Neo forms and Eldritch Evolutions. <laughs> yeah, the, the fact that they're treating. Um, I, I will give them credit on one thing. Um, recent Magic Fest stuff, and they're pumping a ton into the game now. I do appreciate that. That's pretty cool. But uh, I don't know. It's it's in a tough spot for me because they, I feel like they should be doing more for their players. Like when other games are doing million dollar tournaments all the time. Yeah, Channel Fireball has the exclusive contract. Yep. One hundred dollars and for the limited entry. Like that's crazy to me. And I understand that these events are expensive and there's a lot going on with them, but like I don't know. We're gonna seven us. Add a counter. Has five counters. Add another counter. Okay. So we're going to wait for them to shoot us, and we're going to Nourishing Shoal our Allosaurus away. really just not drawing what we need right now. We've got like all the mana in the world too. That's sweet getting a switch for 150. Alright, we're done here. And I really don't want to switch anything, but I will bring in these packs so we can go off well. I'm going to keep doing this... Uh, Cyborg. I don't. I really don't like touching our combo, and these seem like cards I can trim without much issue. Yeah, I. I don't know. Um, I will say that I enjoy the SCG IQs right now. Um, they seem worthwhile. They're usually like one K plus events. Um. And they, they have a small enough player base that are going to these things that the stores usually cap out, which is great for the store because then that means they're making good money um, to where they're not – they're making good enough money to where they're not losing money on doing the event, right? Because it's not about making money when you're doing an event, at least in my opinion, from when I was involved with – these different uh, stores that I have. I interned at a store. I worked at a store for a little bit. Um, events should never be seen as a money making thing. Um, it should just. Mm, this is fine. Mana. Oh, it's kind of awkward. No, this isn't. This isn't gonna do anything. We gotta ship this. This hands. We're gonna keep this hand because we get to dig a little bit more. We've got the Eldritch, we've got the free mana. We're just kind of looking for a way to get a free creature out. Okay, this is. Interesting. We're going to go top, top. Oh, 
I'll see if they know what to name. Yeah, well, they should just know name Gristle Brand, but. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't activate Gristle Brand's ability. The other thing that's a bummer is my local community, for whatever reason, because we have like five or six magic stores in the area, and you can go to these events really well, honestly. Like, there's a lot going on in our area for magic, and people are really bad at um, at showing up to the local events, so then like the store owners lose a ton of money, which is like just a huge bummer. Like, they shouldn't be losing money to do these events. When we have people in the area that are willing to travel a decent amount for an event, like, why not show up to your local store and then have a good time that way, you know? Um, we're going to try to go off. So we'll exile Chancellor. We'll exile Metamorphose. We're just doing this to get the creature, by the way. So, because we can't actually activate Gristlebrand, but at least we can have an 8 8 creature in play. We have a counter. Yeah. So, we can't actually counter that because uh, if we do pack it, we can't do anything. So. Yeah, it's kind of crazy the fact that they're not willing to drive across town to play an, uh, an event. Because, like, a bunch of the stores try to do, like, 0.5Ks and 1Ks, like, every month. And, like, they were just losing money, so they had to stop doing it. Unfortunately, I think that means we're done here. We kind of needed them not to have a counter, and then we can just resolve the, the, the creature and then just try to get there. Like, four or five years ago when we were running event, um, we were able to run a 2 to 3K every quarter, and we'd have a massive turnout. Um, and we were running 1Ks, like, every other month as well. And we were the stores were doing well. Like, they were grouping up and doing some of these nice events. Players were showing up, and then uh, a bunch of stuff happened with our Magic community, so we kind of stopped doing it. Well, let me ask you, what are you hoping to see in um, Modern Horizons, Dylan? Yeah, Containment Priest seems pretty good. Um, I feel like any of those like lower-powered legacy cards that we kind of want to see to slow the format down would be good. Um, I am a big fan of getting a little bit more disruption on combo decks. I'd love to see the format just kind of slow down and that way people can actually enjoy themselves. Hmm. We can get a turn one Allosaurus. And that's it. We can have a turn one Allosaurus and draw one card. Let's see if we hit a Neo form or uh Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna keep it. There we got the mana. Let's metamorphose this. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Let's still run out the Allosaurus. And then we'll pass turn. Wirewood symbiote would be pretty nuts. Yeah, some 
I need like I'd like to see like the blue answers. Um, it's not force. It's the other one that people thought would be worthwhile to get, come uh, bring into Modern Horizons, and then counter spell I think would be great. This one's a little out there, but uh, Wasteland. Wasteland, I think, would be a pretty interesting addition to the format. So like, here's the thing of why I, th I feel like Wasteland has a shot. I, I think it's gonna slow down the format a ton. It will also push out these extremely greedy mana bases that a lot of players in Modern are really used to, and you'll have to start relying on more basics. It'll also push um, Tron from being the top dog, and I play Tron here, and I think Tron even though it's a fine deck, I'm not sure Tron is healthy for the format. Uh, a lot of people have to dedicate a lot of space in their cyborgs to fighting off Tron, and it's like a singular deck. Mm -mm -mm. So if they get rid of our Allosaurus, we're probably just done. Karn's hiding. Look at that. Take the lab mania. No. No, why would you do that opponent? Another Chancellor. They chose not to sack the Ugin, the Sanctum of Ugin, which means they must have a threat in hand. So we're probably just dead here as a result. Yeah, we're going to swing at Karn. And we're in a pretty rough spot. RNG is not on my side right now. There's a good chance we're just we're we're just dead here. I do think that Wizards wants us to play Haymaker Magic, which is fine. I don't think Tron fulfills that because it's it's doing something with that big mana that I don't... I, normally they just don't like, which is Land Destruction, even though I'm advocating for us printing Land Destruction here. But it would uh, be interesting to see players not be so greedy with their mana and then seeing how that evolves. Your long shot is pillage? Okay, okay. Let me make sure I'm thinking of the right card. <laughs> you just want more land destruction. Alright, that's a spirit dragon. Oh, well, I think we're done here. Hmm. Do we want to claim against Mono Green Tron? They're not going to interrupt us with packs, so I think we're going to just run this back. They don't really interact with us that much. 
You want a main board answer to artifact. There's so many things that are... Just play a braid in place of your flame slash. It's fine. Yeah, doubling up as Landy is pretty crazy. This hand doesn't do anything. This hand gets there, right? We get there turn two. Land. Land. Packed. Dish these two. Allosaurus. Neoform. Yeah. We got this. We got this. Okay, it's, it's not the same thing. Start packed. Get ourselves an Alistair's Rider. Let's uh cast this by getting rid of that and that. Now I wanna go a card deeper just to have an extra card while we still have the mana. Okay, Neoformed Allosaurus. Get ourselves a Gristle Daddy. Okay, we're gonna pack here. Get ourselves a big old worm. Get rid of that worm. Let's draw a bunch of cards. We're doing it! We're doing it! Okay, so Simeon, 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 and then we're going to drop them all, and we have the, uh, 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 we have the uh, Seismic Assault right there. I think we're just going to pack here just to thin our deck out and make sure our land count hit is maximized. All right, there's nothing left for us to get. Okay. We'll draw seven. And exile, exile. Exile. 
cast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got it. I did the combo. This is so fun. <laughs> this deck is stupid. Um, yeah, I've usually seen Lightning Storm is the thing. Um, this was the list that Pleasant Kenobi had, so I went with his list. But I do think that Lightning Storm is better. It starts off with three damage from the get-go, and then you're adding two, which seems better to me than being an enchantment. And it goes off at instant speed, so I I think that it's better. But, well, you know, I went with his judgment on this. Yeah, Vince's Litz did seem pretty clunky, but I was still willing to give it a go. Okay, I think we're still good to just run it. Yeah, if you have a more updated list that you think is less clunky, let me know. I'm more than happy to play it after this one. Uh, we're on two mana... Hmm, if this was a Neoform, we can go off. But as it stands, we can't until turn three. Unless we draw a Simeon. Mm -mm -mm. I think we're going to keep it. If we go off, if we draw a Simeon... We'll go off turn, um, we're going to go off a turn earlier, which is big. If we draw Neoform, we'll go off turn two, and that's fine. So let's see what happens here. Noxious Revival. Not that great. Nope. We'll just pass it over. You want more spirit guides? In, I don't even want spirit guides in the format, to be honest. <laughs> They're on a double mine? Okay. I don't think any reasonable uh, deck in modern, in legacy, in any format has ever started off with them saying, hey, well, I went Simeon Spirit Guide, Simeon Spirit Guide. Like that, the, the, no fair decks ever do that, right? Map, that's fine. They can form Tron here, and we're going to try to go off. Cool. All right, so that's packed. We'll pack for Allosaurus. We'll cast Allosaurus by pitching the evolution for sure. <clears throat> I want to save the pact for 
Yeah, we'll, we'll ditch the evolution and the chancellor here. Cast this. Neoform this. Get our Gristlebrand. Cast Summoner's Pact. Get the Worm. Do that. I'm going to put Disrupting Shoal back on top of our deck. And then we're going to draw some cards. Got all the simians we need, and we've got the mana morphos or the wild cantor to cycle it. So let's go for the lab maniac kill because we're cool. Man, we're gonna draw seven cards now, opponent. We're gonna draw seven cards now, opponent. Got him, got him with the lab kill. <laughs> uh, okay, so we just need to cut the desperate ritual and seismic salt for two cantors, dish the lab maniac for a lightning storm. I dig it. This hand's not going off for a while. Let's mulligan. This hand needs a kneel form. And we're on the play. Mm -mm -mm. I think this hand's really close, so let's keep it. To Simeon. So bummer that we'd be putting our Simeon on the bottom of our deck. If we keep it on top, we will land double Simeon. Now let's keep it on top, I suppose. We lost to Tron and Affinity, right? And I think we're just going to pass here. We're just looking for a Neoform or an Eldritch. Going against... Phoenix. They're discarding lands. That's good for us, right? Mm. 
we basically lost to our own deck. We didn't really lose to Tron. But then again, I guess this deck would always just lose to itself, right? Like, if it's getting those nut draws, you're just crushing every opponent, right? You're not, you're not gonna worry about what they got going on. Thing in the ice, sure. Come on, land. Okay. Guess we're passing. I did really hate going against this deck when I was playing Tron the other night because I just knew that I had nothing for them. <laughs> I had like two warping wheels on my side and I was like, if I don't hit those warping wheels exactly, I just lose. feel like we're going to get hit for seven. We still didn't hit. Okay, let's uh, let's metamorphose. There is a cantor. Let's run it out. And then we'll just fast turn. All right, so this league's going by pretty quick. After this one, we'll run one more time with the uh, changes that uh, Varentine recommended. And then we are going to, uh, I think we're pretty much good to run in the league again. What did I think of the O3 monkey thing? What O3 monkey thing? How rude. Oh, that puts the land in. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind trying that with Tron, to be honest. Like, I feel like that would be worthwhile, right? Not Tron, um, Scape Chef. That is, Scape Chef. Oh, that's funny. They're going to flame slash their own. All right, folks, we're going to seven. And we hit another spirit guide. All right, I think we're done here. I think we're going to bring in the packs here. I expect them to bring in more disruption for us. These Noxious Revivals are actually pretty sweet. What we'll cut Metamorphos in that? Mm, 
is a winner. This is a winner. We reveal. Good. Add our mana. Land. Packed. Allosaurus. And we want an Allosaurus pitching the Noxious Revival. And the Chancellor. Let's add a blue Neoform this Allosaurus. Get ourselves a Gristle Daddy. <sighs> Come on, deck. Give it to me. Come on. Yeah, and we hit it. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> this deck can turn one kill. <laughs> We're monsters. <laughs> oh, what will they do against us now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was reading a, um, a post on this deck, and this deck uh, kills turn one like... They're saying something like 15% of the time with the London Mulligan. You're just like, oh, I see enough cards, get ya. Okay. No free mana. To be fair, this is still a meme. <laughs> Um, we've got no Neoform or Eldritch. We've got a couple pieces in hand. Yeah, this is, we're just going to mold this. Uh, we'd have to hit exactly Allosaurus off the top or a Pact. Uh, it's past that. I guess we'll keep this. Bottom that. So a friend of mine recommended um, changing up our layout a little bit. Let me get what you guys think about this. Moving my uh, image of myself over here to the right, and then that way everything is just on the right-hand side. And it's a solid straight line, and then that way you guys don't have like uh, any information uh, covered up on the left-hand side because you guys don't really need to see the top right corner anyway. And then we would uh, move over the top donation to the far right as well, and then that way it kind of just doesn't block up anything for you. Just looking for a pact or an allosaurus, and I'm pretty good with go trying to go off. Awesome. I think I'll make that change after tonight's stream. That way it can be set up that way. And then uh, we'll be back on when I'm back on Sunday, we'll have that. So I'm good to try that out. I think it'll be a lot better flow. So. And for anybody that's joining for the first time, I do stream every Wednesday night and Sunday night from 6 to about 10 or so. So I usually try to run at least two leagues every night. If we have time to do more, I'm always going to do more.
Okay. Come on. We just need an Allosaurus or a Pact, and we're willing to go off. Come on, deck. There's an Allosaurus. Attempting to cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Attempting to cast. Don't have it. Don't have it! That looks like a visit charm, folks. Okay, we gotta reassemble now. We gotta reassemble now, folks. We've got another Allosaurus, folks. We only need a little more. We do have one combo piece in hand. While we're doing this, I am pulling up and grabbing those other Wild Cantors and uh, Lightning Storm. So then that way we can just swap those out. We can run another league right away. make those edits right now, can't we? Oops. That is the cards we just requested. Boom, boom. They're gonna surgical our Neil form? That's so rude. See, we can still hit Eldritch. We gotta draw like Eldritch and then another green card, and we can try to go off again. 
but they're gonna be tanning us this turn. And they're gonna blood moon us, that is not good. Okay, removing the Desperate Ritual and then getting rid of the Seismic Assault. And then we ditch the lab. Okay, we got this. All right, so we want Seismic Assault and Lab Man is gone. Took out the other card. We got Double Cantor or Triple Cantor and a Lightning Storm now. Does that look good to you guys? Are we doing anything to the sideboard too? If we go for the Ken flag, what are we cutting for it? Dissenters. Oh, that makes sense. So we'll cut two shoals for that, okay. I'm fine with running the kin flag if you guys let me know what we're cutting for it. We didn't think that far. Okay, well, why don't we just run it as is and see what uh see what how we do with it, um, and then if we uh, if we feel like we still need it after running another test run of this, then uh, I think we'll be good to go. I'm snagging those dissenters deliverances right now. And as soon as we get that, I think we'll be good to go.
Okay, just need to center these two. I should probably uh 